getting some money stuff sorted. Oh, I will input some scores so I can get, keep uh, Sir Glenn off of me. He's a hound dog. I'm telling you, he's a hound dog. We're getting Hammer Heart. Oh, Hammer Heart and KD3. Uh, we got another team kill. First was Connecticut team kill. Now it's now it's Pennsylvania. So I think every game has been a 2-0 a so far. What do you need to see, Mr. Glenn? I put in all the scores I could. I can't Let's predict see, the future right? yet, my brother. 2-0, 2-0, 2-0, yeah. That's it. Oh, I got to play Josh. Be <laughs> that should be a we're great playing, game. We're, we're playing a lot of friendlies. That should be a great. How is the friendlies going? Later, man. What's up? Unfortunately not. I can only make this. I'll see you next weekend, Mr. Waxy Joe. I'll see you. Take care what? of yourself. Do you have Smashcon? I'll see you at Smashcon. Later, man. Drive safe. Peace out, Demo. See you next week. This is a great tournament, dude. Yeah, I'm very happy. I, I, I definitely wanted to come to the next one that Ran you guys did. Ran very smoothly, I think. Yeah, and, I mean. Uh, good competition, everything. We've we got need. until 8. It's six sixteen. like. Oh, no. This venue closes at 11. 11. Oh, yeah. we're, yeah, so we're, we're way ahead of schedule. We're totally we can fine. maybe get a crew battle, though. Crew battle? I'm thinking crew battle after top like, eight. Like a draft crew? Oh, yeah. That could be fun. Oh, yeah. I'd be down for that. We, uh... I was gonna say we should do that Yoshi round robin, but it basically oh, happened already. Kind of you you do, played Koro, played I played everybody. Nick. Um, like we, we're all playing each other. We have to just play against uh, Hammer Hearts. Ah uh, yes, that is true. This matchup I'm excited to see. This um, is a, a rematch of Grand Finals of NJQR6. Really? Yes, okay. it is. Who won? Uh, I believe Hammer Heart reset. Really? In Grand Finals, and then lost Game Five of the reset. Oh, so KD3 won? KD3 oh, did wow. win, yes. He brought home the cash. I feel like that's a... I know they're from the same region and everything, so you know people more, but I feel like that's a pretty good matchup for KD3 there. That's what people are saying, but I think this kind of goes back and forth. And yeah. now that KD3 has been kind of dedicating to Pikachu now yeah. over these past, I would say, maybe six months, I, and you might have gone up another notch. Yeah, if, if you dedicate Pika yourself privilege. to one character, it makes it a lot easier to actually... Um, it's actually what Lowe was doing. telling me on the ride here, that he started, played Fox for a year, never even played a different character. Yeah. I, I think that's a great way to, you know, learn the game, not having to worry about doing a counter pick or anything. And you know what? If he's got a Pika, then that's perfect for going against Kirby's. Oh, of course. Especially one that's like probably, That's probably why he developed this Pika. Probably, yeah. Because I think his favorite character is probably Falcon. I, I still remembered him as a Falcon man. I expected to play him, but I, I was talking to Yid, uh, Yid and he was like, uh, no, he'll probably just go Pika against you. And I was like, yeah. oh. hey, you know, it was good to know that. Really clean first shot coming out. Of I feel like you are one of the better Yoshis in that Pika matchup, though. Oh, thanks. It's a, uh, it's a tough one. I'm not, I'm not sure where you are against the high-level Falcon players yet. Yeah, the high-level Falcons scare me. <laughs> yeah, you Ooh. know, you get one grab, it might be over. Yeah, scary. I like those. Uh, I like putting that dare over uh, KD3. Like he's probably gonna up B anyway, but at least he can threaten that space. Ooh. Oh, of course. I think. I, I think as a good Kirby, you should almost have Kirby as a, a constant hitbox. Unless yeah. you're recovering while you're on this stage, as you can see right there, you're throwing out. It's as good to just have something out there. Hitboxes as you can. Uh, but uh, KD3 is doing a really good job, like getting around this. Oh, I re I really like that choice doing the. Uh, Getting the space stage by purposely reversing that nair. Oh, you think that was a purposely reverse nair? I, I, I would think so. Uh, I didn't know how many jumps Hammerheart had. KD3's edge guards are, from my eyes, some of the best. That yeah, the game just has like to uh, not even the, the edge guards, but like even there, he missed the edge guard, but then he just he keeps pressuring the ledge. It, like oh, Hammerheart so has smart. to fight out of the corner. He's so smart. And that was, yeah, big lead here from KD3, and he's yeah. gonna, he's going to try to extend it Ooh, more. Great DI great. to stay on stage. Great DI, Hammer great angle does too. predict. I think that uh, he does predict that though. <laughs> yeah. No, little Mike and Hammer, there. Hammerheart getting his first uh, first stock. Uh, I feel like Hammerheart was having some trouble hitting the uh, the F smash or like getting the reads. I'm not sure if they were missed reads or if maybe was positioned correctly. Uh, I think he's gonna. Ooh. He's trying to just shoot out those F smashes and maybe try to change just try to the get neutral. Something. Maybe even change the neutral. KD, maybe change the approach. Yeah, like hey, I'm, I'm gonna throw this out. Look out for it. Respect it. it. Hey, you know what? That was a really good confirm. I, I think that's like single hit there. It's a F smash. Back oh. should do it. And it does. Last time, last time they were in that situation, he just. Uh, I'll see you. 
next week. Keystone. See you, wait, Jesus. Good seeing you. Um, oh. No, but in that same situation, uh, Hammer Heart had KD3 in the. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh I just and the missed angle from KD3. That This is a three stock swing right here. Yeah. Hammer Heart, uh, the one thing I've really noticed playing against him is he really is good at adapting. Figuring out what you're doing in situations. He and knows every possible situation yeah. this game has to offer and knows how to counteract. He knows how to counteract it and he also knows how to get you playing in a way that you're gonna start changing the situations. They're, they're gonna they're gonna end up being harder for you. That's when you get on the expert level yeah. uh, playing. Oh yeah, that, that's that's when it's you like can condition your opponent. Super super big brain. Oh yeah. Conditioning, I, I feel like I still don't get it. Like it's it's just so oh, me crazy either. to like even think about doing. Because I, I don't even know how to get out of every situation yet. If I see somebody approaching with different things. There's so, I, there's so many. Yeah, I'm still, <laughs> I'm still confused. Yeah. Well, we're back at uh, the last stock now. I mean, this is a Big swing, good though. lead for Hammerheart. Momentum um, is in the Kirby's favor. Yeah. The Pikachu but is going to have to add. The neutral has gotten slowed down. Um, now we're getting kind of, you know, Kirby camping in the top flat. Edge guard situation, though. I really like that going right for the ledge. Oh, I... That's so scary, the way Hammerheart is doing those down tilts on the side flat. Because oh, at yes. this percent, you get hit one of those, you go the angle. You go, do, you go perfectly horizontal. The angle it is sucks. crazy. You end up below Dreamland. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you go to the right side, you come out the left. That's how far it's up. <laughs> yeah, kind of having to camp ledge. Oh, nice. Oh. Just getting around it. Ooh, oh, that, 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 that up here could spell destruction. Oh, and... Hammer went for all the marbles with that back air. Yeah, uh, that's not going to kill just yet. But this is going to be a tough recovery. <laughs> he's, he's this is going to be a tough recovery, but he does it. Ooh, and I that like... air doesn't do it. Yes, oh, it does. Hammer wow. with the turnover. What was that, like 140% or something? About that, yeah. That was a really good game right there. It, uh, it had a good uh, back and forth, you know. Very three, good. K3 really... Uh, Started strong, and I think he ended strong as well. Yeah, I mean, Hammerheart kind of got his momentum, but you in know, the it's still last stock. He switched up the switched up the style of the game completely towards the middle of that. Yeah, it, that was uh, definitely a, a good game to start with. It, it does suck if you've had that kind of lead. You start with that kind of lead, and then you you lose it. But the more loss. But you know what? It's definitely not over yet. Especially because KD three, I think he, you know. Hammerheart was playing better, but then KD3 kind of adapted to him I, I playing agree. better. So. I agree. They were, they're, they're, they're in the three-stock swing, Hammerheart was looking yeah. untouchable for a second. But oh, it, it, was, it was a lot of spikes. I feel like when a Kirby's on point, it it's feels so impossible. So dangerous. That is going to be... That does not kill. <laughs> I like this grab, just grabbing the air. <laughs> it's the Hammerheart intimidation factor. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Okay, I think KD3 knew that uh, Hammerheart was going to want to go for a back air. It was probably one of the best ways to just get him off stage quick. Oh, nice call out on the jump there. It's going to kill him. So an early KD3 lead, but immediately eviscerated. Yeah, I feel like they're dying at very exact percents. There's a lot of times they're like going off stage, and then it feels like they just barely die. Like if they're at the very end, it hits them. That, that elongated off the map uh, kill. Yeah. Coming Ooh. back with a fair. Oh, I like that. I think I wonder what, I wonder what the DI downward. Oh, that, that must be what it is. Yeah, he's DI'ing down. I, I almost thought he was trying to like set him up with something, but. He was hoping he landed on the plat. Right, we'll see. What's up? Going straight to the plat. I like that. Ooh. That was so weak, but that was awesome. Hammerhaw knew it was coming too, and he just could not drift far enough. Yeah, away. With like the last frames. Like, yeah, no, I think a lot of times, especially when you get hit by the weak air, that fair is almost guaranteed. True. Weak air is a really good combo tool. Oh, absolutely. And reverse. I'm not even sure how you're supposed to be eyed, honestly. I, I get hit by it all the time if they're doing it. All right. And, you know, we're, we're getting the, the top plat uh, camping again, but I think it is a really good option for uh, Hammerheart to go with. Oh, absolutely. Oh. Kirby, that's where Kirby's at home. Yeah. Tax free. Yeah. Natural habitat there. <laughs> really good call-outs on the movement uh, from KD3 yeah, there. KD3 starting to turn it on. <laughs> oh! Ooh. And that is the last thing that KD3 that, that, wanted that, to have. That was rough. I, I don't think it counts as a cutter combo, but you know what? It's still a cutter, cutter kill. Still a cutter. Still a cutter. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if KD3 like wanted the uh, 
with up air there, I almost thought maybe like an up tilt to something else would have been good if he didn't have his jumps. But yeah, he still got a lot of percent, and that so up air is so it, good. It you, appears, you just swat him out. It appears KD3's formula, if he gets that Kirby off stage at around 70% or more, mm. he's going to full hop out, follow, and then drift down below Dreamland to where he could just jump up and land right and back just, on the stage. Yeah. And it, and it reduces the Kirby's options to recover dramatically. Oh. And beautiful kill. That was that was really beautiful good. finish to that to that game there. Now we go into game three. I can't do those, but I think those are really cool. Hammerhaw Hammerhaw probably still very confident in his ability to win this set. Yeah, uh, this has been a very healthy back and forth. Like that was a two sock, um, but you know it's really just kind of going back and forth. Yeah. Um, Exactly. We're gonna I think to... maybe that's where these two players are. Skill level wise, everything. Especially they're, they're... when you play the same person a lot, you kinda know what they want to do in certain situations. Oh, absolutely. You can prepare. But also both of these both of these players are so refined in, right. in this game and know basically everything that you can throw out. They are very good, that's for sure. And yeah, KD three. Really going crazy. I believe I believe Hammerhall had a really good Smash Con last year. Did he not? He did. I, I don't know. I don't know if I think he, he might have been uh, top twenty. That that was a little bit of a rougher edge guard sequence from KD3 there. Very back very, on stage, but but Kirby is at high percent. So yeah. Oh, is this gonna oh, take the shield? Oh, oh okay, KD3 is mashing. When up I first, when I first like, come on, come started on, come on, playing come this game, that I got oh. shield broke by that. An insane what's the, what's follow up? Cut it, cut I it have no idea. Oh, I like it. I like <laughs> it. <laughs> I had no idea what he was doing. Me I was either. Like, <laughs> I was like, what the? What kind like, of did, did, he, did he mess that up? What the hemoglobin and haberdashery was that? <laughs> but it worked. That was haberdashery. You know what? If there's any word to describe that, that was it. Oh, oh we got, almost oh. shield broke again. But here we are. Can he finish? Oh, Ooh, the good, barely missing that. Uh, I would say good out, outside DI there by KD3. Hammerhart did a, uh, a backer there when he was getting edge guard, just so Kirby would be slightly further out. Oh, does um, the does the back air actually uh, affect the, the position of the Kirby? I think so. It at least keeps uh, Kirby's feet from being in front of him. Fair it, enough. It looked, yeah. it looked pretty intentional from what I was seeing. Like, he wasn't going to hit anything I've behind seen, him. I've seen it. He, he does like to throw that back air on his recovery and I, I don't know if it's to kind of keep them away or if it's just to, to make you the hitbox a little different yeah just to, just to threaten something but, but here we are now with Hammerheart with the lead a, a pretty big surmountable lead I yeah. think uh, a good percent I almost think it's a little bit better forward for... smash at the side of the stage might do it here uh, maybe maybe on side play yeah I feel like this is a kind of a good spot um, it's very good for Hammerheart for KD3's sake, it is kind of good to have uh -oh. a Kirby at low percent because then you can pull combos off like that. Maybe he was there, but beautiful. did he not have any jumps? I think he had jumps. Yeah, it almost looked like he just kind of maybe Maybe like four jumps, maybe? I don't, I don't know. Ooh. And see, now KD3, he loves to, once he gets the strangle hold on you, he likes he's got, to he's, His punishes have been really good this entire set. Oh, absolutely. Maybe this entire tournament. Yeah, yeah, no, having to deal with them firsthand, yeah. This punish has been great. Let's see. Oh, great back here. I, I don't know if he uh, wanted to, like, shark an up air through. Is that kill. Kill? Oh, wow. That's a really good way to cover the ledge. If they're uh, not underneath the Just stage. up tilt? Just, yeah, oh, up tilt. You think it. they're going to go there. Oh, it's absolutely. quick. If you miss, you can go for something not, It's not that punishable. Oh, if that... If that uh, reverse back air hit. That could have been a stop. Yeah, that could that could have led to like uh, maybe an F smash or something. Or something down air off stage. Or down air off stage. Yeah, actually. Ooh, see, that's exactly what KD3 wants every stop. Yeah, that that fair seemed like it. Uh, maybe he, maybe Hammerheart wanted a few more hits to come in, but not a very good trade. K3. Uh, Oh, yep, that, there's that down tilt. Oh, and the down air. Ooh, what a way stock. to bring the game back. Game yeah. three, last stock. Let's see Here if it plays out. Great tech option by Hammerheart there. Yeah, KD3 is definitely going to want to try to avoid any of those like really big combo openers that Hammerheart can I go mean, for. Like, Hammerheart's standing there. He's up tilt. Basically like, dodged the up tilt at this yeah. point. At this percentage, specifically. Maybe he'll want to, maybe uh, Hammerheart will want to try to do like a down air or something. Oh, here we oh. go. Oh, misses the reverse back air but gets yeah. the jab. 
I'm wondering if maybe he was trying to like jab and then just to confuse him and then go for something else. Or... <laughs> oh, weak up jab. smash. Oh, Ooh, this, this could be it. This could be might it. want a strong one. Oh, oh back towards the stage. Ooh, that After, does that kill? No. Not yet. Okay. It's all about oh, the next card. Oh, oh, at, hey, oh, you know what? At least we're no, not dead off it. Oh, forward smash right there. Unbelievable. The crowd's going for Kirby. The crowd is behind him. His back is just weak hits. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like when you get to this percent on like the last game, like everything just becomes a weak hit for some reason. You're fading away a little bit. A little <laughs> oh nervous. yeah, see, see, Hammerheart's going for those down tilts, like because if he does, he's oh, gonna go far out. That's a strong out. back end. All right. Like right to ledge for KD3. Oh, that, that might should be, be it. it. Down tilt. Oh, oh, up smash. Up smash kill. Very well done. Very Great well done. Ledge. Awesome set from KD3 and Hammerheart there. I agree. And that was our.